at the dawn of time, when man was still stupid and ignorant, there, there he invented the belly bump. And then they stopped doing the belly bump when they, when they found out that it killed women. After the belly bump, man needed a new way of, it, of encouraging each other, so they came up with the high one. And there was much knuckle cracking. And then they came with the high two. Not quite there yet. And then they came with the high three. Yeah, that hurt. And there was much pinkies broken. And then they tried the high four. Almost there, but after Bill, Billis McGilroy broke his thumb and had to have it pinned back, they created the high five. And then it was. Yes. And the ultimate way of, of its self-encouragement. After the war at Vietnam, and there were many, and there were many war, disabled war veterans without arms, they needed a new way of high five. So they created the foot five. And it somewhat worked, but not really. And there was a lot of shin kicking. During the hip hop craze of the late 90s, handshakes became too complicated for the white man to endure. He needed a new way of encouraging his brother. But when white man attempted these, they epic failed and they slapped each other. There were many broken hands. When emo people needed self encouragement, high five became necessary because the low five and the slow five were stupid. Hey, little emo girl, you want a low five? How about a slow five? You want a high five. Yeah. And then there was much rejoicing. Yay. When the high five was enough, comedic pranksters tried it, the prank fives. The jelly five. Oh. The pinky shrimp promise. Oh. Then the turkey. Oh. And then the ultimate slap in the face, the jelly hog. When disaster struck and the H1N1 virus killed many, the sterile high five had to be initiated. And even through these tough times, it still raised morale, even for the sickly and dying. In the digital age, there became the phone five. How you doing? Oh, I'm having a crappy day, dog. I'm, I'm really looking for a high five. Here's a phone five. Yeah! In the future, when Apple takes over the world, they will soon create the i5. Yeah. But Microsoft and Bill Gates still resorted to empty gaze the cold stairs. We hope you have enjoyed this film on the high five. My name is David, and I played the high fiver number one. Hi, my name's Anthony, and I played the narrator guy. Hi, I'm Ben, and I played high fiver number two. Hi, I'm Heather, and I played the emo girl. <laughs>